Hey Jeff, how was lunch? Pretty good, man. The veal was to die for. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Yeah, this place has a great veal. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what do you think of the people who auditioned so far? Well, the first guy really had his act together, but the second guy was... Uh... He, he sucked. The second guy sucked, okay? He was terrible. He was wearing a graphic tee and a fedora. He couldn't act to save his life, and he looked like his mom dressed him. Um, the kid was seven years old. His mom probably did dress him. Alright guys, just, just calm down. Yeah, dude, seriously, come on, relax. We got like tons of guys lined up. I mean, even this next guy. Really promising background. I mean, dude, really good resume. Really? Yeah, his name's Pete, actually. That looks good. Yeah. Alright, you're right. This next guy's gonna be it. Let's do this. Alright. Hey guys, I'm Pete. Sweet Jesus. Hey, my name's Pete. Hi, I'm Janet. Nice hey, Jeff, how you doing? Hey, Whoop! Alright, Pete, well, um, I guess you can just go stand right over there. Yeah, I know it's been about three seconds, but I already want to hit him in the face. Alright, um, well, we haven't been here that long. Just, you, you gotta give him a chance, man, alright? Just give him a chance. Yo, no, Pete, we're glad you could make it today. I uh, hope you're glad to be here. Um, yeah, you know, for starters, uh, we are marketers at an investment firm. Uh, we basically specialize in commercials. And we really just need someone that can, you know, make the commercials fun and enjoyable. Because I know investments are kind of boring. So, I don't know, you look like you could be the guy for the job. Very cool. What'd you say the name of your company was again? It's Bradley Investments. Have you heard of us? Nope. Well, that's why you're here. You know, we want our company to be heard. We want to make investing fun and upbeat, and you look like you could fill the role. Yeah, looking at your resume, it says you have some prior experience. Oh, what? There's no, you were the E-Trade baby? You know, the one like 20 years ago in those commercials who would talk? Dude, that is awesome. Who? It's the E-Trade baby, dude. You know the kid that would sit in the crib and talk about E-Trade stocks, like during the Super Bowl commercials and stuff? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, that's me. My parents wanted to get me into acting, so that's how I got into it. That's awesome, man. All right, man, I know you're not really hitting it off with this guy, but you, you gotta keep your cool, dude. I mean, I know the fedora's a bit much. He's wearing socks and sandals, for goodness sake. But seriously, man, keep your cool. We're talking to the E-Trade baby. All right, well, all I'm saying is if he doesn't get that smirk off his face, I mean, I can't make any promises. All right. Yeah, no, dude, that's very impressive. You're the E-Trade baby. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited about this audition. Um, can you give us a brief background about yourself? Well, I stopped doing the E-Trade commercials when I was pretty young, and then I went to school, but I figured that wasn't for me, so I figured I'd get back into acting. That's a cool life plan, man. Cool plan, Stan? N no, my name's not Stan. It's, it's Pete. No, no, I, I know it's Pete. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just joshing you. No, my name's not Josh either. It's not Josh, it's not Sam. I'm, I'm, I'm just Pete. I, I'm just Pete. No. No, I know it's not... Alright, I'm actually a little concerned you've never heard either of those sayings before. That's a little disturbing. Well, it's good you have some experience. Uh, between you and me, I think you'll have a great chance of getting the part. Oh, okay, that's nice to know. Yeah, I mean, no, you're the freaking E-Trade baby, dude. You must be like a natural-born actor. Nah, I wouldn't say that. Alright, dude, we gotta book this guy. Our boss is gonna be so impressed. Like, just seriously, he's the E-Trade baby, dude. Just, right, come on, can pull it together. Can, if we just give him one shot, he can just say one line. We don't have to judge him that much. Can we just give him that? Fair enough. Alright. Alright, Pete. We're gonna let you in on a little secret. We, we like you. For the most part, we like you. You're pretty much guaranteed this part. Now, Let's make a deal, all right? If you can read this one line, one line, you've got the part, all right? Sound good? That sounds good to me. Great, here's your script. Now, Pete, if you can just follow along at the top of the page with me. Uh, we're just gonna read the very first sentence. Let's see. Yeah, all right. Bradley Investments, the investment company that's right for you. Yeah, all right, no, it's a piece of cake, man. All right, just give it your best shot. Uh, Brad Bradley Investments, the investment company that's the good one. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. That's my bad. Of course it's your bad. Who else's bad would it be? 
All right, you've got plenty of chances, man. Just keep it going, slow down, take a deep breath, and let's let's just try it again, all right? All right, slow, slow, s s slow. Bradley invests, invests. Is, is this an H or a T right here? This is terrible penmanship. It's typed. Bradley investors, the best vests in the Western. It's a Bradley investments, the, the, the good, the good investors for you to have. B Rad Bradley Investments. Boo Radley Investments. Invest with us, or we're gonna kill you with a mockingbird. All right, Pete. I don't know if you heard me correctly. All you literally have to do is read one line, and you've got the part. I don't know why that's that hard. Bradley Investors. What are the investors? Seriously, man, what's up? Your performances in the E-Trade commercials were just awesome, dude. What's, what's going on? I don't know, man. I, I've just never really acted before. What do you mean? Those E-Trade commercials were pure gold. Here I am, thinking I got a child star on my hands, maybe some acting credibility, maybe some solid performances, and you come in here looking like a big oof with your fedora and your socks and sandals, and I'm thinking you just came from a company picnic. Wait, you thought that was me talking? Yeah, who else would it have been? Are you telling us it wasn't you? You thought that was me? How could that have been me? I was hardly 12 months old. Seriously, man, you, you don't have to be modest. No, I'm dead serious. It was not me talking. Guys, he's just being humble. Pete, come on, just show us what you got. We know you can act. We know what you're capable of. Just please do it. Uh, I mean, it wasn't me, but I can keep trying. Pete, come on, it's, it's not that hard. Yeah, man, I mean, Janet's right. Derek, what do I always say? A good man's an honest man. A good man is an honest man. Pete, you hear that? Now look, you don't have to be embarrassed about your past. I have plenty of embarrassing things. I don't like to share them publicly, but I do have plenty of embarrassing things. Now please, just show us what you can do. We've seen it. Let's go. Let's do this. Please. You didn't see anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you making me so nervous? Well, can you suck it up for a little bit? Because we need an actor, dude. Yeah, my dog can bark clearer than you. His dog. My dog. You know what his dog's name is? You know what his dog's name is? It's Rex. It's Rex. It's a real name. It's a real man's like name. Like a T-Rex. Real man dog name. You don't look like a man dog. It's a shit suit, but it can bark louder than you. Yeah, I probably could. He has two cats. I have two of them. They can probably bark louder than you. They don't even bark. They don't even bark. I have a fish, too. Can't do anything, but I have one. Hey, Pete, let me ask you something. You like gorillas? You want to fight a gorilla? You don't want to fight a gorilla. I wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to, but you couldn't even take on a shih tzu. And no. the difference between you and him, he would fight a gorilla. He would fight a gorilla. The shih tzu would. I know my shih tzu would. I would bet on a shih tzu over you in a fight. Oh, yeah. You understand what that means? I'd bet on a pet rock over you. I'd bet on a mailman over you. A mailman could whoop your ass. Oh. How old are you? Four? I'm well, like four and I can't understand a single word he's saying. I, now that we're doing this, we're gonna be stuck in rush hour? You know what that's like? That's a awful! You know what it's like to be stuck in rush hour after seeing you? It's pretty bad, and I'm not talking Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan rush hour, all I'm talking traffic. All three hours you're sitting in that car, I'm thinking about you. I'm thinking about how terrible you were. How terrible you are. And dinner. I was hungry. I wanted some dinner. Think about him, he's got a wife. He's yeah, got a wife and a kid. My wife is making me too. dinner. It's probably gonna be cold when I get home. I yeah, gotta take it out of the fridge. She had nice water on the table, nice lemonade. Now I'm gonna have to get water out of the faucet. We have a Brita water filter, but still, it's out of the faucet. It's the tap. Why are you sweating so much? Oh god, when I get nervous, I start to, I start to sweat. It's so hot to you. Oh man, I'm getting nervous. Can I, can I go to the bathroom? Is it okay if I go to the bathroom? I won't sweat so much. No, you can't go to the bathroom. Yeah, from the looks of it, it looks like you pissed out of your armpits.